Sometimes you want to move beyond just a breadboard to actually connect pieces together. Uh, so you can get these little proto boards that let you solder pieces on and it's often easier to solder things like these older style resistors or capacitors on these instead of the surface mount ones. Um, but so basically, you know, you can do all sorts of ways to do this, but basically just put, put them in here. If I bend the leads, it can keep it in place. And then you can just add a little solder where you need to. So yeah, that's a wire. So you just solder. solder and I find it's easiest to cut the extra after you solder it but also sometimes it's useful so for instance if you want to actually also attach a wire here you can you know put this wire through maybe put it over here and solder this and one of the things is that you want to make sure that you're actually soldering so that you get enough solder in the wire itself, but also so that it actually attaches to the metal on the board and that makes it more structural. But then you can do things like actually use this extra wire from the resistor to actually connect it together. And you know, you can even do a wrap around to really make sure you have lots of wire area to cover. And then you can solder it together and then when you're done with that part, you can then trim these off. And then you have a proto board that has some of the connections you need. You can also do things like solder headers onto here so that you can make other connections to external devices. And you know, this blue blue backing on my workbench here is really nice because it's a, a soldering pad that both reduces uh, electrostatic discharge, so it dissipates any static, but also it's heat resistant. So I can put these pins on it and it's not gonna melt through it. If you tried to hold your finger on these pins while you were soldering it, you would burn your fingers, so just be careful. So these proto boards are useful for developing, you know, kind of first, first or second prototypes after breadboards.